everybody, it's Meredith. Welcome back to my channel. You're gonna be able to hear the guy mowing my lawn during my intro. Come on, man. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you on how to get this eye makeup. If you would like a full face makeup look, please let me know in the comments down below. If you'd like to see how I get this eye makeup, stick around and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so I know I look pretty crazy. I went ahead and did my left eye and I'm going to show you guys how I do my other eye so you know how to get this eye look. So. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a fluffy crease brush. Mine looks dirty because I've been using it. And I am going to be using my Morphe 35OM palette. So I am going to be using a um, transition color for the transitioning to blend all my colors together. So I'm going to be going in with this color right here, and then I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of this color. And I'm just directly applying this into my crease, and I'm kind of doing a little bit of a halo all around my eyelid. Just making back and forth sweeping motions, and then going in circular motions with my brush to blend all of that out to give the rest of my eyeshadow a good base to go off of. So I am going to go into, again, the same Morphe palette, and I am going to take a little bit of this color and mix it with this orangey, more orangey toned red. I'm just going directly into my pan with the exact same fluffy brush. Okay, so I've got it on the end of my brush. I really filled it up with a lot of color because I really want the red to show through and once I start adding browns, it's going to kind of dilute the red. I'm just going to be going in my crease again, all around making a halo effect on my eye, doing the same thing, just with the red color. I'm going to now go back in that same Morphe palette. Pretty much everything's coming from this palette because it's awesome. Um, and I'm going to be linking this palette down in my description box, so if you want to go get it, you'll know where to find it. I'm going to be going in to my eyelid with this, you can already see I've picked some of it up. I'm going in with this Morphe color and I'm mixing it with this deeper red. I'm going to be going in with a shader brush, you can see it's very dirty from when I did this eye. I'm just going to be picking up both colors, and then I'm just going directly onto my lid and packing that on. Okay, so you can see nothing's blended yet, but I'm trying blended, not blended, but I'm wanting to get it really dark before I blend it out. I'm gonna go back in with some of that same, those same two red colors, this one and this one, to do some more blending of the two colors that are now on my lids to blend my crease color and my eyelid color. I am going to be using this color right here. And I'm just going to go right underneath my brow. I need to pluck my hairs. Ugh. I'm going to go in with that Morphe color that I showed you with this fluffy brush and I'm just going to put it right underneath my brow arch and bring it down a little bit to blend out any shadow that has created a harsh line right in here. Okay, so now that I'm done with the shadow portion, I am going to put a little bit of eyeliner on. I don't want to do too much, but I do kind of want to have a smudged effect across the upper lash line. I'm going to go in with my NYX gel pencil liner. I'm just going to go directly onto my lid with this gel liner, and I'm getting really close to my lash line. You can see the difference that that made adding liner just gave my eye more definition. So I'm gonna go over where I just put that gel liner down with a little pencil brush. 
I like that. I hope you can see that. It's like the same color as my skin, so it's really hard to see. Um, but I'm just gonna go over where I laid down that gel liner, and I'm just gonna kind of smudge it out. My makeup brush was clean when I started doing this, but as I started to smudge the black gel liner, it looks like it's picked up some green, like it has some duochrome qualities to it, so that's really interesting. Um, I'm not really sure why it did that, but I'm okay with it because it looks pretty cool. I go in and do the same thing on my other lid. Okay, so I forgot to turn my camera back on before I decided to go ahead and go do um, my under eye. So I finished this one directly into my Morphe palette again. Who shot? And I'm dipping it in this dark brown color and this red that we used for the lid. Went in and lined. I didn't really exactly line, I'm not like dragging, I'm more kind of like dabbing and pulling. I'm going in with this clean little pencil brush. It's just like the one I used to smudge my eyeliner with on the top of my upper lid, but it's just a clean one. And I'm going into the bright orangey red and then the other bright red that we used to do the halo. And I am going directly over that other line. Morphe palette I'm going to use to do my inner tear duct is basically it's the same um, color wheelhouse as the other palette. These are just all shimmers. This is the 35 OS palette, so these are all shimmer shades. And I'm gonna go in with this color into the corner of my eye. So I'm just going directly into that color and picking it up. And then I'm going to place it. I'm kind of dragging it over here into the side of my nose. So now that I'm done doing my eyeliner and my eyes, I'm going to go do my face off camera and I will be right back. Say hello. No, go no, say hello. No, no, no. He doesn't want to be shy. That's definitely making it in the tube. Okay guys, that's the end of this fall eye makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tut as in tutorial. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you want to always be up to date with what I'm posting. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Man, I feel like a woman. Ow! Ow!